Hello my dear students, today we will solve exercise 5.5 from the textbook of CBSC board NCIT Mathematics of grade 6. So let's start. Here this is the exercise 5.5. The first question is which of the following are models for perpendicular lines? Okay. So before solving this question, you should know what is perpendicular lines. So here these are the perpendicular lines which are intersecting each other at 90 degree. Okay. So which all the lines intersect each other at 90 degree? Those lines are called as perpendicular lines. Okay. Now let's check the models. So the first model is the adjacent edges of the tabletop. Okay. So here this is the tabletop. If you check the adjacent lines of the tabletop, you will see that they are intersecting each other at 90 degree. Therefore, we can say yes, the adjacent edges of a tabletop are perpendicular. Okay. Now let's see the next model that is the lines of a railway track. Here the lines of the railway track are not intersecting each other at all. They are parallel to each other. Therefore, we can say they are not perpendicular. Okay. Now, the third uh, model is the line segment forming the letter L. So, here the line segments are intersecting each other at 90 degree. Therefore, we can say as they are perpendicular. Now, in the letter V, they are intersecting each other but they are making acute angle not 90 degree therefore we can't say they are perpendicular therefore they are not perpendicular okay now let's move to the second question let pq be the perpendicular to the line segment xy let pq and xy intersect in the point a what is the measure of angle pay okay so let's see uh, PQ be the perpendicular to the line segment XY. So here the PQ line is intersecting the line segment XY at point A. Okay. So what is the measure of angle PAY? Now here what they are telling the line PQ is intersecting at uh, it is perpendicular. Okay. So perpendicular line intersect each other at 90 degree that you all know. Therefore, the angle PAY is equal to 90 degree. Okay. Now, let's move to the third question. There are two set square in your box. Okay. Many of the children don't know what is set square. Okay. You have geometry box, right? In that, you have two things in the in the shape right so those things are called as set squares so what they have, uh, what they have told in the question is there are two set square in your box right what are the majors of the angles that are formed at their corners here already i have given the majors so the major of one set square are 90 degree 45 degree and 45 degree and one more is measuring 90 degree 30 degree and 60 degree so uh, the majors of the angles I have given. Now the next question is do they have any angle major that is common? Yes, they, the angle 90 degree is common both in both of them. Okay. Now let's move to the fourth question. Study the diagram. Okay, they have given a diagram. The line L is perpendicular to the line M. Okay, this line L is perpendicular to the line M. Okay. Is CE is equal to EG? So CE is equal to EG? Yeah, see here. CE is of 2 units and EG is also 2 units. Therefore, as both majors 2 units, therefore CE is equal to EG. Okay. Next question is, does PE bisect CG? Now see here, bisect means what? It, it is making half of that line. Okay. Means the measurement from both the sides should be equal. So, does PE, PE, this line bisect CG, CG means from here till here. See here, it is making half of the CG, right? Two units here, two units here. Therefore, yes, P, because C is equal to EG. Okay. 
Now identify any two line segments for which PE is perpendicular bisector. Okay, here again bisector they have told means it should make half. Okay, so we have to find out which are two uh, line segments which are perpendicular line segment. Okay, so here I am giving you the three examples here DF. DF is making one unit here, one unit here, right? CG is making here two units, here two units. Therefore, CG is also the line segment and the BH here three units, here three units. So, these are three examples of the line segments for which P is the perpendicular bisector. Okay. Now, D is, are these true? Let's check. AC is greater than FG. AC is making two units. FG is of one unit. So, it is true. The first one is true. Next, CD is equal to GH. CD is of one unit. GH is also of one unit. Therefore, the second one is also true. BC is less than EH. BC is of one unit. EH is of three units. Therefore, the statement third is also true. Here your exercise 5.5 ends. If you like my teaching then please subscribe to Knowledge of Maths. And if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box. So bye everyone.